the football player that just got exonerated. I just, uh, it came across the screen, uh, screen. What is it? Jordan Rand Randolph? What is the brother name? I don't want to butcher his name. Somebody put his name in the chat. The football, former football player that just got off. Travis Randolph. Travis Randolph just got exonerated for, uh, a murder charge. And we're just grateful to everybody that he has his life back and that the truth came out. We knew he wasn't guilty. He's one of the nicest human beings you ever met. Uh, whether you play sports or not, this is a true man and did what he had to do. That he should have never even been charged for. If you listen to the, uh, if you listen to the prosecuting attorney or the investigator, this woman didn't even graduate college. <laughs> She's, a, she's an attractive young lady. I don't know. I mean, I could assume how she got the job. Down there in Florida, where she's a blonde head. No goddamn, she has a high school diploma, I guess. But she's investigating murder? We talking about a first degree murder case that could put somebody away the rest of their damn life. And somebody who didn't even graduate college. I thought education was so important. And as you can see how the uh, the defense attorney broke her down so easily. All she wanted to do was call her a celebrity. That woman, let alone, was not even qualified, in my opinion, for her job. But this case with Travis Randolph should show y'all the blood thirst that they have for celebrities. This woman let all kind of other crimes go to convict a celebrity. She overlooked all kind of evidence. She didn't even, she looked at one person as a victim just because they said so. Because in her mind, oh, I'm about to get me a celebrity. She about to get her a celebrity. Travis, what does this verdict mean to you? It means everything, man. I finally got my freedom back. I can get back to my life, man. I just want to thank the jurors, thank the court, thank everyone that was involved in this, man. Because it means a lot for the support with everyone. What do you think of the fact that they came back with the verdict in just uh, what, three or four hours? Uh, I mean, I just, I just felt like it was right. You know what I'm saying? I knew from all along, you know what I'm saying? That I, you know, I did what I had to do to just protect my, me and my brother's life. So. Everybody is infatuated with this thing called a celebrity. It's, it's ruining society. Think about it, y'all. We already every day watch celebrities, right? Why is it that in our society that if a police arrests a celebrity, they get upgraded in their workforce? Why is it that if a, pros a DA arrest a celebrity and get them convicted they can somehow become a judge why is it that every time if this thing ain't built on just money if it ain't about money why is it every time something involves a celebrity there's a heightened level of whatever the situation is if you get in a car accident with a normal quote-unquote person it's just a normal accident. You get in an accident with a celebrity, you done broke every damn bone in your body. We have fallen for this social construct so, so much that it's crazy. And we don't even get it. The weak weasels are the media for pumping this narrative that celebrities are somehow above the people. Because now when somebody black, see white folks make money and somehow they don't become celebrities. See, the owner of the Clippers never became a celebrity, but he was able to pay all of the Clippers. The owner of the Lakers is not a celebrity, but he's able to pay the celebrities.
Why is that? Why is it that it's only certain demographic of people they deem celebrities? And majority of them are black. All black folks with money are somehow celebrities. Majority of them. And you know how you treat celebrities? Like shit. You think celebrities are above you.